Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Lady T. I know it's been a minute since I've actually done a VSG update, but I wanted to pop in, give y'all an update. It has been a year and a little over six months since I've had my weight loss surgery. Uh, some recent things have occurred, and if you want to hear about it, keep watching. the channel if you have not joined the lady t crew go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and follow so you can keep up with all these crazy adventures i be on okay so let's talk about vsg okay this video is about vsg weight loss surgery give y'all an update it's been a year six six months or so um I've lost a total of 90 some pounds. I feel like I'm still losing weight. Um, but <clears throat> I want to talk about um, my recent health scare with um, having low vitamin levels and dehydration. Y'all know it has been so hot outside, okay? Like double digits, I mean triple digits, I mean. And I really kind of, since I work from home and I do business from home, I really haven't been up on my water because I'm not out there in the heat, right? But you can still get dehydrated, okay? So, uh, I had a recent health scare and basically I was feeling uh, really tired, really drained. Um, I knew something was wrong because um, I started um, having headaches and the headaches proceeded like they went past, you know, a couple of days. And so I went to the urgent care and they were like, well, we're gonna test you for COVID, RSV and the flu. And we're gonna go from there, um, things like that. So I had a suspicion it was dehydration, but I wasn't really for sure, you know. So I knew that I had not really kept up with my water intake like I was at first. So that's why I had that, you know, suspicion of that. And then I kind of was wondering too, if maybe uh, my vitamin levels had gotten low, you know, cause with VSG, you can't really eat as much as you normally would. And to be honest with you guys, I have not, the choice of food that I've been eating has not been the best, okay? I'm just going to be, keep it real. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. So, your girl got to do better, okay? So, went to the urgent care, tested positive, negative, ne negative for all of those things. So, they said it got to be something viral. We're going to give you this steroid pack. And we're going to give you something for your headaches. Because it was like, no matter what I took for the headache, it would not go away. I was taking Theraflu. I was taking uh, Benadryl. I was taking, um, I think I even tried Tylenol. Because, you know, it's certain things we can't take as VSG patients. You know, bariatric patients. So, so yeah. So, go home. It took me about a week to finish the steroid pack and stuff. And I had a scary episode where I started getting um, dizzy spells. So I'm like, oh my God, what is going on here? I, my head's still hurting. I'm getting dizzy spells. And so it got to the point where I actually felt like I was going to pass out. So I said, you know what? I got to go back to the doctor. I'm going to go to the ER. But I said, because if I'm low on fluids, if I'm dehydrated, I'd rather be somewhere where they can hook me up and give me some IV fluids. So that's what I did. So I went, went to the hospital. First thing they say is like, hey, you know, steroids will, you know, dehydrate you. So I'm like, what if I was already dehydrated and then I took the steroid pack and it just really did a number on me. It really dehydrated me. So that's what I'm thinking, but they had to treat me because I they had to treat me like I was having a stroke because my face was numb, my fingers were numb. Um, it was just like my whole body was just locking up. 
and stuff. And so they hooked me up to the IV, gave me fluids, um, did some blood blood work, came back. They said that it was my potassium and magnesium was low, a little de dehydration, right? And they said that I had a panic attack. Crazy, huh? <laughs> so all of that's been going on for the past, I say, two weeks. I would say truly that this is the first day that my head has not hurt. I actually feel normal. I feel great. Um, they sent me home with, um, you know, with instructions to really hydrate myself as far as like um, Gatorades, Pedialyte, things like that. I've been taking magnesium, potassium, you know, just trying to boost my levels back up and seems like that was the issue because I'm actually feeling better today. So if y'all have had this surgery, y'all got to be really careful. It's like sometimes, you know, when you have surgery, you know, you're, you're so careful in the beginning and even maybe the first year, you're so careful making sure that you're dotting all your I's, crossing every T, you're making sure that you up on your vitamins, you're making sure, you know, all of that. But then it's like, once you really get, you know, back into your, your zone, you know, it's like, you kind of forget you've even had the surgery because you're back to normal, you know, you're eating a little bit more. And I think that's what's been going on with me that I just seriously just got too comfortable um, feeling myself in this new body that I'm in, you know, that <sighs> your girl ain't been taking care of herself, but um, I definitely got to do better because I do not want to feel like that again. And so I'm telling everybody that I don't care if you've had the surgery or not, keep up on your fluids, okay? keep up on your fluids and then another thing that was happening to me my blood pressure was going up and down up and down up and down like it got down to like 110 over like was it 60 even though that's still kind of normal but that is low for me I'm usually in 135 140 range so um that that was kind of scary and that may have been where the dizzy spells were coming from too and then it got up is i mean then it shot up high even the people at the hospital even saw that it had you know how it when i came in it was extremely high and then it went down um went down low so they even was able to see that something was going on with me so um much better now i just say if you had this surgery please take care of yourself don't ever get comfortable don't get comfortable like I did and just get so caught up in what you got going on uh, every day that you get to take your vitamins. You're not hydrating yourself. You got to take care of you because I don't care what other things you got going on or how many people are depending on you. If you're not 100%, how can you give them anything? Okay. So that's something I'm talking to myself on that one. Okay. But yeah, I, I definitely wanted to come back in and do a uh, update video. Um, I did go to my doctor on my anniversary date. Well, I would say my year and six month date. I did go and, um, you know, got the green light. Everything was cool at that point, and now that, that's before I start having the headaches and the, the dehydration and things like that. So, <clears throat> I'm just really hoping and praying that things will continue to be good. Haven't had any major complications. The only issues I've been having is stuff that I feel like could have been avoided if I had just really been doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I don't want this to discourage anybody that's had the surgery or wants to have the surgery. Um, this does not have to happen. It doesn't have to happen. All right, y'all. <sighs> this is crazy. But like I said, I'm still enjoying the journey. Um, I'm enjoying, you know, rebuilding my wardrobe, getting cute clothes, and just feeling good about myself. And um, for the most part, I've been feeling better before this little incident, you know, so all is, all is well, all is good. 
y'all. So I will talk to y'all later. I'm not going to make this video super, super long. Just wanted to pop in with a, a fresh update. Lady T is still, still good. And um, I will see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, join the Lady T crew. And I'll see you next time.